Hello again. Today we have another Asus laptop to disassemble. We have to replace the thermal paste. Uh, the model of this laptop is Asus UX482E. I haven't opened this uh, type of laptop before, so we'll learn it on the way. This is uh, some sort of uh, a stand here. This is not uh, a stock thing that comes with the laptop so let's start now all the screws on the on the back they have some rubber cover so we have to remove it and we have to put it back again after that be careful because they're very small Now we're going to use uh, a T4 screw driver because the screws are not uh, Phillips screws. Now the five screws on the back are the same size, the front four are shorter, keep that in mind. Now I guess we have to take out the, the back cover, we're going to use something sharp and try to We have some thermal pad which is holding the back cover, so be gentle when you open it. Uh, this one is uh, for cooling the, the hard drive. We're gonna put it back like this. Now the first thing of course we have to take out the battery. Because we don't want to damage something. Just open the, the latch and lift it like this. Now I see signs of liquid damage. Also, the laptop is with a broken digitizer because it's with a touch screen, but uh, that's not our concern right now. Let's double check the screws of the hinges. Now we have to remove the screws which are holding the cooler we're gonna lift it, we're gonna clean everything and we're gonna put everything back together we have one screw here one here and one in the middle which is holding both of the fans and I think that's it 
now we have to disconnect the fans the, ca the cables are very tiny so be careful like this move the cooler a little bit left to right in order to get a little bit loose and just lift it like this now we have two, two screws here more sorry yeah, the fans are pretty much clean now let's let's clean the old paste as usual first let me try to zoom a little bit if I can yeah first I'm gonna use a dry q-tip in order to get most of the paste the paste is stuck into the for the to the q-tip and it doesn't make a lot of mess like this we're gonna use some alcohol the paste is very dry actually so probably the laptop is about a year and a half or two we have the CPU clean now we have to clean the paste here when the paste is too dry I like to use some plastic uh, tool to get the old paste out without scratching the, the copper and once uh, that is removed I'm gonna clean with alcohol be careful not to bend the cooler otherwise it, it may like not cool properly yeah we have that clean let me use a brush the laptop is not that dirty it just the paste was very old Yeah, the fans are rotating freely so let's apply the new paste we're going to put first the cooler and after that we're going to put the fans because we have some plastic thing here and it will be easier for us Don't put too much paste, otherwise next time when you clean you'll have more work to do. Slide it a little bit left to right in order for the paste to get even. And then put the screws back.
double check the screws, of course. Now we have to plug back the fans. Like this. I have some signs of liquid damage here, but yeah. Now let's plug back the battery. And let's put back the cover. Now let's put the shorter screws. We have, a, we have the magnet here, which is getting the screw, so... Hmm. Come on! Yeah, here is the same. Let's see, do we have a picture? Because I don't think I have the charger for this one. We have a, a light. We did disconnect the battery because, and probably it will take a little bit more time to boot. Here we have a picture, and since there is a customer data, I won't show you anything else. Basically, that's the whole procedure. The only thing I gotta do now is put the rubber thing is back on the screws and basically does the whole procedure. I hope you like the video. That's it for now. Bye bye.